So Johnny Rico's the first player to reach the final and is the first player with a real chance of winning that prize pool that is on offer tonight. Right, let us invite Mix and Revolution to the party. And we will once again start the process of map eliminations. So who is the home player? Revolution is the home player. So Revolution is the first veto of the night. Rev of the match, rather, I suppose. I've already had two vetoes tonight. Shin, your veto. Revolution. Taking a drink there. Uh, Revolution vetoes Inferno. That's the second time Inferno has been the first. And Iron Fortress is vetoed by Mix. Oh, not matchmaking. I want to go to custom games. Okay, cool. So our vetoes are Inferno Pool re vetoed by Revolution and Iron Fortress vetoed by Mix. Which means we still have Coda, Echo, Expedition Lost, Vani Research Station, and Cactus Valley left to pick from. I'll let you come in and see what our players are saying here in terms of map choices. So Echo is the first map. Coda will be second. Two of the new maps added in the new map pool. I'm not going to try to pronounce who they were made by, which I did briefly consider until seeing who, what the names were they were made by. Revolution now to make his second map pick. And he's doing it without me even saying. I don't know, maybe. Okay, Vani will be third. Expedition Lost will be fifth, and Cactus will be our final deciding map. Okay, cool. And let's see, let me just kick Johnny Rico. <laughs> yeah, rapid fire vetoes much better than the first lot, which took slightly longer than we all expected, but yeah. Remove Johnny Rico from the party. Okay, yeah, let's go. <laughs> Wait, what was the first map? <laughs> Okay, Echo is the first map. This is... Echo is a rather nice map, in my personal opinion. I do quite like the... The whole, what do you call it, the aesthetic of it. The kind of protoss I I am a Protoss player myself. So I suppose bias. And we are loading in to the first map of the second series tonight between Revolution and Mix. I should put back to that for now until we load in. Revolution versus Mix, a ZVZ on Echo Ladder Edition. We are loading in, folks. This is one of the new maps for Season 2, I believe, oops, sorry, not the microphone there. One of the new maps for the Season 2 map pool, I believe I already said. So now, spawning. Why does 8 go up? hope I'm changing the scenes right. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Spawning. Best of luck, Kane. Referring to each other by their actual names. So, spawning to the top right position, top left position, off Echo Letter Edition, in pink, playing for Team StarCraft to improve, it's Mix. And spawning to the bottom right position, off Echo Letter Edition, playing for the Seed Academy of Root Gaming, in yellow, it's Revolution. 
th those of you who were watching the WCS in France this weekend will probably have learned a couple of weekends ago. We'll probably have heard of Revolution. He was given a shout out by, I believe it was Rotterdam. Could be wrong there, don't quote me on that. But he was given a shout out as one of the top up and coming players of StarCraft 2. So we'll need to see if he re lives up to that hype here now in the Great British Invitational Cup. 14 pool down for Mix, playing it safe. Don't want to be cheesed by Revolution. Slightly later pool. For Revolution, 15 pool. Though still before the hatch, so still perfectly safe to do. Both players now moving down to take their hatcheries. Again, Mixes is slightly ahead off Revolution. Right there. Both players playing fairly safe, but still enough. Gas now coming down for Revolution. Ahead off Mix as he looks to probably get a fast Zergling speed there. Which can be very strong. This isn't a huge map in terms of rush distance. And if you're ever playing Protoss, I hear this is a really good place to blink. Though that won't be a factor here due to the fact that it's a ZVZ. Overlord does now scout the Zerglings moving out as well as the Hatchery. Couple of Zerglings for Revolution already here moving out to meet those of Revolution, uh, those of Mix or other in the middle of the map on this high ground here. And they run straight past each other. Not too worried about the defense though both players should have a queen out fairly soon though potentially not in time for these Zerglings to get there. Or maybe not. Maybe I'm just not very good at Zerg. As the Queen is now out. Taking out one of those. For re Revolution. But the... And the... That goes down as well. A single unit killed by Revolution. Or two units killed by Revolution. And one unit killed by Mix. As the second Zergling off Mix does escape. Though not for much longer with that Queen going there to clear him out. He doesn't manage to, no player managing to get any work kills yet, though a little bit of scouting information is always nice. Two gases now coming down for, for Mix. That could mean a number of things. And the, uh, the, s the speed is soon to be complete for the Zerg player in the yellow, down at the bottom right of, ladder, of the Echo Ladder Edition. Much more passive opening to these games compared to what we've seen by Johnny Rico and M Mythic Liquid TLO is online, guys. I should really have set myself to like do not disturb or something so I don't get these messages. Hey ho! And there is now the lair morphing in for both players, though Revolutions is decent amount ahead. Very low army for both of these players so far as a roach warren and double evo chamber wall comes in for mix a single baneling nest popping out now for revolution both players clearly diverging in their attack paths now roaches versus banelings oh shit Oh, fuck me. I think my stream... No, I'm sorry, guys. I think the stream dropped a bit there. Yeah, so sorry, the stream seems to be a bit... Has my stream stopped? Are we still getting the stream? Okay, hopefully that doesn't happen again. Okay. Just checking everything's still working. And I miss both players taking their third bases. 
while worrying about that. Creeps are in a bit better for mix than it is for revolution. Revolution not doing much creeps for it at all. Creep already connecting the third to the mech to the second base. Right, I've lost the chat, haven't I? Or has my stream stopped? Damn it, damn it, damn it. I'm just super worried now. Oh shit, sorry guys. Really sorry about this. Utilisks popping out for the yellow player. Revolution. Right, 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 right. Is this that my stream still working? It's just I've lost all my like live viewers and stuff. Okay, it seems to be working. Okay, good. Zergling attack now into the main base, or, or the front base rather, off mix by Revolution. Takes out a queen there, and the spine is now not quite sur surrounded thanks to that roach there. Right, can someone post in chat if this is still working fine? Because I'm getting nervous because I don't see any live, I don't see any number of viewers and stuff like that. I don't know if it's just my thing is bugged or what, but. Um, Overseer picked off there. Oh wow, nice, I have six followers now. Wow, we dropped way down, we lost all our viewers there. Holy fuck. Apologies for the language, I think I don't think this is a mature rated stream, at least it isn't on Team Liquid, I don't think. Oh, damn, that crash really killed us. Okay, back to professionalism, folks. Okay, Roach is pushing across the map now, as the Mutalisks go behind and the Nidus network on the way for mix not much for those mutalisks to do there now with that spore crawler in a nice position to clear him out mutalisks picking off a stray overlord there as the, z the roaches moved back, not able to get much done in the third base with this big army there. Nidus network is on the way. It is complete, in fact. Though Mix is slightly supply bo blocked right now. Big push coming through the middle of the map by the uh, Mix. He's just put me completely off. Sorry, guys. Third base is up. No defense is there for revolution at all. And the slow march of the queens across the map now come as the uh, roaches take care of that debris there. Creep spread coming down, emergency creep for, for to get that spine down, a bit of defense. As Revolution knows the push is on the way and he's not sure he can stop it unless he gets his defense up quick. Midas is not seemingly, I don't think a Midas has been built properly by Revolution or by Mix despite the Midas network being built. Hopefully we can get our viewers back. And the engagement comes in. Now some good blinding clouds there on the roaches of revolution as Mix's army supply is slightly ahead, just slightly ahead, and is he going to push through the spine crawlers are now down, but a flank coming in by revolution to clear up, to try to deal with this side here, a bunch of infested swarm thingies coming out here, killing off the, that overlord there, but as the Mix keeps pushing through, he's he could well take this. He has an army supply lead now of 20 army supply, 20, 20 supply army supply lead. Jeez. But the, the total supply is still in favor of Re Revolution as he levels the army supply and the engagement is back in his favor now as he is slowly managing to push back this force of Zerg by Mix. And still a bit of damage being done to the third base, but the army supply is now ever so slightly in Revolution's favour, so he should be able to hold this 
now without too much difficulty. Not much harassment done this game. No workers killed by either side, though the army of Revolution is now pushing across the map, chasing down what little is left of the army of Mix. He is managing to rebuild relatively quickly, back up to 60 supply now, and defender's advantage of course. But Revolution does hold a quite decent indeed army supply lead, as the uh, roaches decide it's better not to force the issue and retreat back to their main base. So the Roach. Roaches are of course a key unit in this matchup, Zerg versus Zerg. And Mix is pushing across the map once more. Another force. Another army supply lead for him, though it's now immediately even by Zerg's ability to like really quickly remax. Both players very close to being maxed out, though not quite. And the Nidus network is coming down by Mix right across the map. And that's going to make it a lot easier for him to reinforce, almost eliminating that defender's advantage that is so useful for Revolution to have. Revolution does see the Nidus network, but that's a lot of roaches coming out there, and those roaches are basically picked off for free as the blinding clouds come down on the... Is that blinding clouds? Or... I might, be, I might be wrong there, it might not be blinding clouds, it might be something else I don't remember the name of. And the roaches, the roaches off Mix are pushing through with the help of those spells from the infest, from the infestors. But the army, the army supply off Revolution is failing fast as the remaxing, as the reinforcements of the Nidus network can still come through. But the look, the thingies are retreating out now, and so are the roaches here. Once again, Revolution able to hold back the attack off Mix. Great hold there as Mix decides to transition and build a fourth hatchery. Continuing to push forward with the roaches. Now coming in some f fungal growth. Thank you. Yes, that is what I'm looking for. That 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 that's it. Thank you. Thank you. An immortal kid. Thank you. So both players now got investors. Both players now taking a fourth base. Could go long this game. Mix be mix tr trying twice to push hard against Revolution. Both times being held off. Can Revolution live up to the hype he got given during WCS when he was? Giving a shout out as one of the up and coming Zerg players from the United Kingdom. We'll have to see as once again Mix is looking to push across the map. Very, very close to maxed out now. And a small army supply lead over Revolution. The Revolution does indeed have the home advantage, of course. Which is as ever important, especially given the lack of a Nidus network this time around. Clearing out the destructible rocks at that base location and the... Well, the third base is now walled off by Revolution to buy some time, though not much of it as those as those, the roaches off mix push through that without trouble at all and put some deep pressure on that base. But that's a lot of roaches by by Revolution as well, and he does take an army supply lead at this point. The fungal growth's going down on all sides, but the, the superior numbers of a revolution now dwindling as he falls under a hundred army supply but the forces of mix are pushed back as defenders advantage takes a victor here both players having a now fully established fourth base more or less no defenses there but and that may prove vital as mix as Revolution puts on pressure on Mix's third base here. That's still a lot of roaches for Mix. The Infestors coming here, can they get a couple of... 
Can they be the reinforcements needed? But doesn't look like it as Revolution's army is not able to push on against the superior concave off mix. Despite having the army supply advantage, once again the defender's advantage proves vital in this game. First keeping Revolution alive, now defending mix. Still not much creep thread at all from Revolution, much less so than his opponent whose roaches are once again pushing across the map. Oh, those roaches are going to be... Nope, he decides not to take them out. Another engagement here. Superior numbers for Revolution enough to push back the, his opponent, especially given the army supply advantage, which is now growing quite significant for Revolution, at least at this stage. Again, Zerg being very fluid, it's changing rapidly, thanks to Zerg's ability to remap very, very quickly. But uh, Revolution is now getting fairly close to that Remax number. Full 20 army supply ahead of his opponent, Mix. But Mix's army is not insignificant at all, especially given the advantages of the Defender player. It's going to be tough for either player, really, to push forward, though I fear Revolution's lack of static defense compared to Mix could prove decisive in this if both players attack with all their army. Now, ma now Revolution fully maxed out, slightly less army supply lead over Mix than before, but still a massive army overall as Mix looks to harass the third base unsuccessfully. Burrows there, but that's not going to do much when there's overseers around. Still nine workers killed overall for Mix, not a terrible number I suppose, but compared to the big harassing games we've seen before between Johnny Rico and his opponent, Miss Mythic. It's not a enough at all. Players splitting up. Revolution splitting up his Roach Force now, dealing with the continued harassment from Mix at this point. As both players look to just sit back, build up a bank, Remax, push forward. Revolution does now push across the map, having been fully maxed out and but Mix is now soon to catch up with in terms of army supply and he has the advantage of the defender being able to split, get a good concave that has proved really quite important in this game so far. And the advantage of those hydralisks, that extra DPS is important, great fungal growth there by those. But the, the concave is too strong down there for the hydralisks over here. It looks like Mix's army supply is failing fast. It's, it's, st it's still even, Mix could still hold this, especially with the advantage of the defender, but it w his army is melting, those hydralisks just aren't strong enough against those roaches. Um, despite the fact that Revolution's army is now closer to the main base of Mix and Mix's army is, Mix still somehow has this high ground advantage due to this map design and manages to push back the forces of, Mick, or of Revolution from the third base there. But Revolution still holding an army supply advantage, and he did have an advantage in terms of bank as well, so he'll be able to resupply faster than his opponent uh, is, though the reinforcements will be able to reach quicker for Revolution due to, for Mitch rather, due to the defender's advantage here. And those ro roaches killing those, the, the roaches of Revolution, just slaughtering the roaches off off Mix here, but adds more stream across the map. And this third base is now looking to be forfeit, finally. But Burrow helpful, maybe, but not really, given the overlords here. The overseers, rather. And the superior numbers of Revolution are looking to prevail here. Hopefully. And the, the fourth base is now gone, though. A fifth base has completed as Revolution pulls back. Not wanting to overextend, always a wise choice, indeed. Creeps are finally starting to connect the third and natural bases off Revolution for the first time in this game, I do believe. As the roaches march back and forth, I don't believe he is aware of the space. A single roach there trying to do a bit of harassment, not gonna do that well for him. Does doesn't even manage to pick off that one roach. Main base of both players completely mined out, as you would ex 
Or not quite actually, Revolution Mixed Razor does have a single mineral patch left in Bolton Fane and his natural. Compared to Revolution who just now redistributes his mer his drones from the natural base to the third and fourth. Revolution still not mix rather still not retaking this base that was eliminated by revolution just before and he now pushes forward again a massive army supply lead almost 50 army supply ahead for revolution here this is a very nice time to strike indeed that damage that was struck by eliminating that base is proved fruitful now but the concave of mix is still strong and that can prove important though the zerg player in revolution does push down this ramp here allows him to get a good concave off regardless and GG Mix surrenders as Revolution takes a first match off this best of five series. And we are going to be oh geez what how oh crap the party got killed eh. Okay guys it looks like we're back online after that slight technical hiccup or two slight technical hip hiccups. Okay, so it is on Coda now. The second map of tonight, or the second map of this series, of this second series tonight. I suppose it's the fifth map of tonight. And once we resort this, players dying to get into the game again. And let's go. Hopefully we won't have any more of those technical hiccups, guys. I'm really sorry about that. I've only got StarCraft in the OBS running now, so hopefully the co with the computer focused on what it should be doing, we won't have any more of these issues as before. Got for the full first series fine in it before we started anything bad, so. And here we are in the game. Spawning in the bottom right hand position on Coda Ladder Edition in pink 1-0 down in this series we have Mix and spawning to the top left hand position of Coda in yellow playing for Root Gaming's Seed Academy Revolution just set up the scores. And Revolution is 1-0 up in this series after his first map win on Echo, where I had all my technical problems. Hopefully we won't have anything like that again. Some super high APM there from Revolution. Great APM spam by revolution. You can see that in the bottom corner there. If you didn't know. And it looks like a spawning pool going to come down now for mix on fourteen. Same for Revolution I do believe. And that's both players look to play out this map fairly standardly it served well it served them both fairly well actually in the first map it was fairly close until the end when Mix's third base was picked off and then all went downhill for there for him but that is okay as both players now put down their natural bases nice and early to get a good economy going both at the same time, so no player has a specific advantage over the other in terms of that. Gas coming down for Mix as he looks to get out a fast zergling speed, probably, if I had to guess. Similar to what Revolution did in the first map. Almost seems like the same game in reverse, to be honest. That's the first map of the series. No gas is coming down for Revolution at this point. This is a fairly new map to the map pool. Just added the other day. I believe. 
just last Friday, I think, actually. It might have been. The Season 2 la ladder map pools, despite Season 2 not officially starting yet, Blizzard decided to release them a bit early. Which is nice and handy. It gives our players a bit of a chance to test out the waters, if you will. Actually, I think Season 2 might have started today, in terms of ladder. I know it was going to, but they might have delayed it. I don't know. Zergling Speed coming in for Mix here. As he looks to get a bit of early map control. Everything will of course be seen by these overlords of both players. Making out there. Two Zerglings moving across the map. For Mix. Into the main base, or the natural base first off revolution but the queen is out so they shouldn't get too much done oh oh drone kill a drone is killed by revolution though a drone was also killed by mix Bo both players have lost a drone must have missed that apologies baneling nest coming in for mix again so far looking very much like a mirror off the last game this is exactly what Revolution did in the first game, in the first match of the series rather. There is a spine crawler on the way so to get some good defenses up and the evolution chamber, evolution chamber roach warren. And this is very much a mirror image of the previous game. For those of you who were watching, there and speedlings now zooming across the map there. For those who were watching the first game, you know that it was in fact see or in fact Mix that went for this sort of wall off and Revolution who went for this sort of Zerglin <laughs> LOL both players say as Mix goes for a Zergling all in speedling all in here how successful is it going to be the, the there are banelings in the main base can they get to the mineral line is it going to matter with that many oh those baneling hits that's about the entire mineral line wiped out right there and this is this puts mix in an absolutely fantastic position there as the queens of revolution are picked off as this lair finishes morphing in that's not going to serve him very well with all these dead probes, dead drones or other. Roaches are now out for revolution, but with that many drone kills, that's 23 workers killed by Mix. And another wave of speedlings still coming across the map, and there is still the wall of is incomplete. You won't want to move out those units too far, Revolution. Not with all these. Those the Zerglings are slowly backing off. Or going around. Yeah, backing off now. Oh, they're going around the other way. They're going to skirt around as these roaches move out. This could prove fatal for Revolution. Uh, if those can get in, a few z few are left behind. But, uh, but the Zerglings just run straight through, straight into the main base. Those That worker line is going to be once again slaughtered by... Mixes, dr mixes speedlings. 25 workers killed now. GG! Mix levels the series one all. One game apiece. <laughs> nice cheesy build coming out of Mix there for the first game. <laughs> Too much damage done with that initial attack with the Baneling hits just wiping out the mineral line of Revolution. He just couldn't stay in that game for much longer. You can see, look at that. Look at his graph. Resource collection rate. Look at that drop. Now we'll be getting into the third map of the series. And it looks like it's not going to be quite as much of a whitewash as the first game. Vani Research Station is our next map. Our third map of the series. And the eight, the sixth map of the night. Six, ma six maps casted already. Uh, Revolution, you should not be there. You should be there. And I should be a referee. Ready? Go, go. Let's start the game. Um, by at, I mean, like, 
Just like tweet about the event using the hashtag. I mean, I, w I was going to check the hashtag to see if anyone had tweeted about it. If you want to tweet me personally, you can tweet me at darkwestsc2. I don't remember my Twitter account, actually. Okay, guys. Loading into the map. Spawning in the 12 o'clock position. Off Vani Research Station. Wearing pink. One game apiece in this series. Playing for Team StarCraft to improve. It's Mix. And spawning down in the 6 o'clock position. Off Vani Research Station. Took the first map, but lost in the second to Cheese. It's Revolution. Need to see if we play a more standard map than in the first game, or if it's just as cheesy. Slightly off-center. Overlord there for Revolution, going across to the natural base rather than straight to the main, as is Mix's Overlord. I'll get up the thingy tab. And Mix is sending a drone across the map. What is he going to do with that drone? Proxy hatch, anyone? Mix won his, fir won his first map with Cheese. Is he going to win a second with Cheese? I should say that's... Drone scouting there, but we all know this isn't for a drone scout. As he moves down to the natural base, we'll need to see if he chooses to take to do that little cheese there, or if he just wants to delay. Looks like he's just delaying the base off Revolution being put down. Does have his own base up there. Nice move to get a little economic lead. Doing a very good job of keeping Revolution away from putting down his base, but he does finally get it down several, quite a bit, in fact, behind his opponent. Spawning pool now down for Mix. Much delayed compared to last game and indeed compared to Revolution's spawning pool. Revolution does have a gas now. So indeed does Mix having an earlier gas than Revolution. And just slightly. Mix does have a slight economic lead thanks to the shenanigans regarding the probe. A couple of Zerglings crossing the map. Not quite to the same degree as the amount of Zerglings crossing the map in the last game of the series. But nonetheless, they exist and they are crossing the map. Zergling speed on the way now for Mix. An upgrade that did indeed serve him well in the last map. Allowed him to level up the series. And a dr drone goes down there for... By Mix. Mix's drone goes down and the Zerglings do survive. Always a nice investment where there where you get the drone kills. Doesn't always happen that often. But definitely nice when it does. Queen now out for Mix means it'll be slightly harder for these Zerglings to do much. And speed is on the way for Revolution as well. And the first Zergling is picked off, though another is still alive. Baneling Nest coming down for Revolution. Back to a more similar to first game build order. Though this time both players going for the Baneling Nest. As speed just about completes. Is he going to try another big bust like he did in the first game? Or is he going to play more standard and use his, utilize his slight economic lead? Indeed it is very slight given that both players have very similar drone counts down here in their natural bases. Speedlings did scout out the base of Mix. Banelings 
just morphing in now for revolution. Good in the defense, or indeed good if he wants to go offensive with this, but that's a lot of banelings morphing in for Mix as well, and it looks like this is going to be another big all-in build from Mix, or at least a very strong attack indeed. But but the defense of Revolution is much stronger this time. He has banelings, he has a spine well positioned to deal with this. Two queens at the ramp, not going to get many zergs past that. And of course, the, this army is right underneath that overlord there, off revolution. So he sees everything that's going on here. Can't pull the wool over his eyes today. Sends a single, rather unsuccessful zergling up there. Army supply lead is it's in favor of mix, if just slightly. Three banelings for revolution, compared to only two for mix, however. And mix is backing up slightly now. Doesn't want to overcommit to this. As just as much as it can win him games, it can also lose him them. Revolution moving down the spine crawler. Down as he looks to take his third base. So slightly ahead of Mix. Though Mix will take his as soon as possible. As you can see there he does. As oh, he cancels that. He built it too far away. Oh, harsh luck, Mix. Built his hatchery just slightly too far away as uh, speedlings move across the map for revolution does a little bit of damage not too much there oh oh little bit of an engagement there the banelings crash into each other causing a massive explosion there but not too much damage done at all the army supply lead is in favor of mix by 10 zerglings or 10 supply I should say and but and more and more zerglings sweeping across the map for our player in the pink. Our Revolution spine crawler here could prove very useful against the, this force of zerglings here in the defense, as the third base does now complete for Revolution. Spinecrawler's weak, surrounded by the Zerglings here, that's a lot of Zerglings, so Revolution does now have the army supply lead. That's a, still a lot of Zerglings, and that's going to clear out that drone line without too much trouble at all. A single Mutalisk now out for Revolution, but that's not going to do much good when there, when you have a whole bunch of Zerglings trying to eat your fourth, third hatchery. And yes, that hatchery will fall, and the Zerglings just scamper on out of there. Care in the world, revolution. Mi Mix reclaiming his economic lead that he gained at the start of the game, and he does now also have a uh, spire himself, M getting those mutilisks out to deal with the mutilisks off revolution zone, and still going in with the zerglings to attack there. Third base is trying to be re-established. But with the Zerglings, but the Zerglings don't care, they're going straight into the main base and trying to clear out the mineral line again. That queen going down and the... What left of the Zerglings do leave the game. Or not leave the game, they leave the main, I should say. A slight Mutalisk lead for Revolution. The economy is definitely in the favor of Mix, if only slightly, and only due to that hatchery. The, the Revolution does in fact have a drone lead, but Mix has significantly more army than Revolution. The Revolution is slowly narrowing that gap, as the third hatchery is finally re-established. The Mutalisks trying to do a little bit there, not getting too much done in the third base off mix spore crawler going down in the main off revolution not in the mineral line just randomly placed in the middle of the main base mutalisks off mix his own coming down here as well as a bunch of zerglings looking to potentially take out this third base here again the second time this third base fall as those mutalisks clash. Army supply lead is in favor of Mix. 
as those Mutalisks are slowly beginning to fall, but Defender's Advantage could still be key here, and the f indeed the Mutalisks of Mix are forced to flee, as are the the Lings, but only after eliminating the, the base. Right there. 23 workers killed by Mix, compared to only one for Revolution. And Mix now has a massive lead in terms of supply, both worker supply and indeed with army supply as well, as he looks to take his fourth hatchery out on the map. Those Mutalisks not doing too much for Revolution other than fending off Mutalisks of Mix. Mix very much in control of this game so far, after his comeback in that last game with that all in. Taking out that destructible debris there. Always useful to do. Mm, a couple of banelings just lying around for Mix, not doing much. And that's a lot of lings now for Revolution, though the army supply leader is still indeed in favour of Revolution. Mix, rather. Getting the names all muddled up. And the fourth base is now complete for the player there, Mix. And he is further extending his economic and military lead over Revolution, who is really left behind this 50 supply behind, 30 army supply, and 20s. 20s. 20 worker supply. Does have a decent, uh, does have a good amount of creep spread compared to the first game where his creep spread somewhat lacked, in my personal opinion, at least. And there are the mutalisks casually chilling out. Both players playing this fairly defensively, not wanting to overcommit and lose their. Uh, they're expensive mutalisks. And these zerglings alone isn't going to do much against the army off mix. Or indeed vice versa, without the support of the mutalisks. But again, not wanting to overcommit and losing them. Big force of zerglings now moving out here. And we gain a bit of map control from mix who's been in very much control of this for a while but it is definitely leveling up now supplies is now much more level army supply lead just slightly for in revolution's favor right now as the engagement takes place out here and some baneling, more banelings morphing in and those zerglings are just walking into their deathbed there they might be able to pick off a spine crawler just not even that and so zerglings just are slaughtered in the face of those mutalisks and spines. And that's a big ball of mutalisks making their way across the map. 40 mutalisks for mix against only 10 for revolution. Now that is a lot of infestors. Roaches are good units, but they're not going to do much good against um, a, a zerg maxed out on mutalisks. And he is now supply block. That's a lot of, a lot, a lot of overlords picked off there. As Mix looks to take this game, moves in with those mutalists. Though, if he loses those, that's at a very, oops, sorry, not the microphone. That's a very expensive loss to take. Take there, and that's a, is also a lot, a lot of queens for revolution. Mutalists driven off for now. See how long that lasts. He and Revolution's army now really starting to take shape. He does again have a supply lead. And that's a lot of queens, and all queens do well against Mutalisks because Mutalisks are air units. And the Mutalisks move into the third base, the natural base rather, of Revolution. 
thinking out a lot more overlords, thinking out Spire, no more mutilisks for you, Revolution, and that drone line has once again been obliterated. 45 workers killed for Revolution. By for, uh, 45 of Revolution's workers have been killed, I should say. As a force of Zerglings move into the natural base. Again, slaughtering worker after worker after worker, up to 61, 62, 60. Five workers killed off revolutions as the mutilisks once again rampaging in this base but they're gonna be pick they're gonna be picking off those roaches for days roaches can't fight mutilisks though hydrolisks can and hydrolisks are out now and the re army supply is in favor of revolution despite having only 21 drones 68 workers killed and another zergling run by looking to happen soon though that's not going to do much good seeing as there's only one single drone sitting around at that base what revolution now really needs is a big head-on engagement which he could win but is he going to get that engagement is revolution going to let him get that engagement with and now with that spine that spore crawler picked off that that's a big part of the anti-air for Re Revolution here at this base. Mutilis could quite easily swoop in now and take out that base, and that's a third of the production of Mix. Mix still going strong in a four base economy here, compared to basically no economy at all for the player in the blue. As he is once again heavily supplied locked. And army supply is now level as he put looks to push out across the map in a last ditch attempt to save this match because look at that economy. 17 drones to 69, 70 drones for mix, and that that's a lot of drone kills. That's a lot of drone kills indeed. Those mutilisks have been a great investment. Oh, I've not noticed I've been on the wrong thing. Ultralisks, the ultralisk switch now coming in, and that's a lot of static defense. Mix really, GG. Just sees it and exits the game immediately, not even willing to fight into that. GG Mix goes up 2-1 in this best of five series. And Mix is now a single game away from winning this series and going into the grand finals of the Great British Invitational Cup. Map 4, Expedition Lost. Oh yeah. Okay guys, we will be back in a sec. I, I just need to go pee because I've just drunk like a litre of water while casting this. So we'll be back in a second folks. See you soon.
Hello guys, and we are back with more of the Great British Invitation Cup. We're here for match three, match four, even, of the Great British Invitational Cup. Between Mix and Revolution. And we are loading in. Oops, changed me to a referee there. We're loading in to Expedition Lost, our third, fourth even, <laughs> map today. And Mix is 2 1 up in this series. So, spawning to the top right hand position of Expedition Lost in pink, it's Revolution. No, it's not, it's Mix. It's Mix, guys, it's definitely Mix. Mix in pink. 2 1 up in this series, and spawning to the bottom. R left hand position of Expedition Lost. Ring Yellow. Playing for Root Gaming Seed Academy. Revolution. So, what are we going to see here? We've seen two long games and one short cheesy game so far. In terms of long macro games, the players are one game apiece. And of course Mix broke out some cheese in that second map with a speedling all in to level up the series and now has macroed his way ahead. After utilizing an economic lead in the early game and seeing it out throughout the game in our last map. Spawning pool coming down for Mix. Slightly before that off revolution. Shouldn't make too much of a difference in the grand scheme of things. It's not a big enough difference. So it could indicate that Mix intends to be aggressive once more in this game. Revolution is where he thrives. And remember he is only a single map away from triumphing. And the winner here will play Johnny Rico in the Grand Finals. Both players now having their match row bases down at pretty much the same time. The winner of this game, well the winner of this series, the winner of this game if it's Mix, will advance into the Grand Finals of the Great British Invitational Cup to play against Johnny Rico, the, tr the winner of our first series. And if, and the winner of the grand final walks away from here today with the title of the best British StarCraft pro gamer, more or less. I know the Muslim and Bling aren't playing, and they would probably say that they deserve that title, but hey, they, they didn't want to take part. So, I guess they can't be the greatest. <laughs> yeah, and also a £20 winner takes all prize pool is what is given to the winner as well as the title. couple of lings moving across the map for both players. Gas is down for both as well. Speed on the way for Revolution. Ahead off. Just slightly ahead off Mix. Zerling doing a bit of work there in the mineral line. Not picking off any workers this time, but all four Zerglings that were on the map have been killed. Baneling Nest coming down for Mix, as well as for Revolution slightly afterwards. And Mix is putting down a spine crawler this time. Usually you see that out of Revolution. This time Mix has decided it might not be a bad idea to do so himself. 
So speed, about halfway down for revolution, slightly more than that for about halfway down for mix, slightly more than that for revolution. It's confusing me because like the players are in the wrong way around. There we go, fixed. Um, of course that ha now hasn't changed that, so... There we go. Score is fixed as well now. And players on the right side. More gas is coming down for both players as they both look to take up into hatch deck. Spine crawlers in both. Both players playing fairly standard, fairly defensive. A couple of Zerglings trying to make their way in there relatively unsuccessfully. Still no workers kills from either side. The Revolution has killed a few more of the Zerglings off his opponent. Banelings morphing in now for, re for Mix, rather. As the first worker kill of the game goes to Revolution. As he takes out that drone mining gas there. It's a nice pick off. Single Zergling there to scout out when the third base is taken. Or not with those two Zerglings of Mix coming in there. Probably can infer from that the third base is intending to be taken any minute now. And as you can see it has indeed been. Spire Tech now coming in for both players similar to games past. Both of these players are fans of Mutalisks. It looks like Revolution intends to be aggressive. Producing a few more Zerglings and moving them across the map. Aggression 1 mix the last couple of maps. Is Revolution going to use that same aggression to level the series? We'll have to wait and see. Oh, Baneling hit there. Eliminating a couple of... Baneling's neutralizing themselves there, but that's a lot of Zerglings coming in, and Revolution does have an army supply lead, if minor at this point. Battle with the Zerglings up here. The spine crawler is taken out, and that base is going to be tough to hold for Revolu for Mix here, as Revolution still has a very slight army supply lead here. And in the end, they decide not to pressure that base. But Zerglings still streaming across the map for Revolution, though Mix has himself a fairly significant force with him there. Mutalisks now in production for both players. More for Mix than for Revolution. M last game, Mix had a massive Mutalisk ball, but that's a lot of Mutas on the way now for Revolution. The players had time to discuss amongst themselves in between the last couple of games on what was going on next, so they might well have got a few ideas from each other in terms of strategy, specifically with, with Revolution going mutilous this game. Third base now on the way for Revolution. Not much pressure being done there. And that Overlord going to be taken out by that Mutalisk. You can run but you can't hide the saying is, but that Overlord can't even run. Army supply lead is in Revolution's favour, if just slightly at this point. Not enough to be decisive in any engagement. And both players now building up their Mutalisk balls. Currently in favour of Revolution, but as you can see, Mix is very, very quickly catching up with that. Both players going for a, another Ling Muta Bane style game as with the last one. Always nice to see, personally I find Ling Mute Bane much more entertaining to watch than just about any other Zergling co Zerg composition out there. So it's always nice for me to watch. <laughs> Hopefully you guys all agree. And again lots of Mutalisks now. Keeping producing their mix, getting in a couple of spore crawlers back at home. Same thing done by Revolution. Always good at, key, at defending against those mutalisks as they clash in the middle of the map, and that's a, that's not quite a free zer free mutalisk. In fact, he just manages to save that from Mix's 
if he had paid attention there. A bit of focus fire would probably have quite easily taken care of that one. Army supply lead again, very still very even in this game, much more so than in the past game. And Revolution actually does have a, a worker supply lead, though that's slightly narrowing down now as Mix begins to macro up again at home. But Revolution is slowly beginning to show his lead again. Not quite to the same degree as Mix was in the past match. That's still not an insignificant lead. 15 supply ahead of his opponent. Again, as those of you who watched WCS would have heard Revolution get a shout out at the w last weekend in Paris. Was called one of the big up and coming Zergs in the UK by one of the casters there, I believe it was Rotterdam. So he's going to want to live up to that hype here. He is one match down. One or two matches down to one, I suppose. Eliminating that wall off there. Allowing a bit more freedom of movement for Mix and Revolution. Revolution now going to take that base, his fourth base. Still Mix is on only three bases. As I say that, I just spot he took this base down here. And the magic number of 66 drones reached by both players, so Rep Mix is heading over that l number a little bit. We need to see if Revolution here does the same. As a big force of Mutalisks and Zerglings move across the map here, and that fourth base is going to be forfeit there, unless, or not quite, the reinforcements of Mix enough to push that, of Revolution enough to push that away, and that's a lot of Mutas picked off there. By Revolution. And um, Revolution's army supply lead, they're showing. This fourth base is quite tough to take. It's quite. It is really quite far away from the third base. As uh, Zerglings off Revolution move across the map into the third base of Mix. Wrapping around the Zerglings off mix, eliminating them all, and now have free range through this drone line there, killing f 23 workers this game. Very much the mirror image of the last game, in fact. Where Mix was in much the same position as Revolution is now. And that base is now forfeit for Mix. Does have his fourth base up here, along with the fourth off revolution so both players are at this point on four bases though not for long and you can see the fourth base off the third base of mix is taken out and he's reduced to three bases as and the, the zerglings moving in here those banelings not doing enough to eliminate the zerglings off revolution as that queen falls and the drone line is going to be slaughtered as they move trying to retreat up into the main 29 workers killed though uh, though down here the mutalisks off Mix are doing a good job themselves at killing drones, having now 14 killed f by Mix. And of course, fourth base has been destroyed as well, so both players are now reduced to three bases. But that, but the Baneling Nest off Mix is actually left alive by Revolution as he looks to eliminate this force of here. The Mutalists are on the way back, so they're not going to be allowed free range for long. Can they kill the Spire? Can they kill the Spire? No, they cannot kill the Spire. And the Zerglings retreat out of there. The, the Bainly Nest does fall. In fact. And that's 34 workers killed, compared with only 14 for Mix. Neither player looking to reclaim a fourth base at this point. Content to sit back on only three. Both players having suffered losses with drones. Oops, sorry. Sorry, I've got like a Capri Sun because I ran out of water. All this talking, you need water or liquid to 
And Revolution tries to take his base, but not very successfully. As those mutilists are straight down there to pick off that base. Zergling run by up here by the fourth base of Mix. Third base, I suppose it is now. And that, is it going to be picked off? Is it going to be picked off? So close, but the mutilists get back just in time to pick up that, pick off those zerglings, and just manage to save the base there. Though it is very low in health indeed, 153 health remaining. Spore crawler now coming down for Mix because he knows how easy that base could fold if a force of mutilists get in there. Another z more zergling run by is coming up here. Not going to find much at this base location, though he might now, as Mix looks to retake it. I am watching chat, by the way, guys, so if anyone wants any chat interaction, feel free to post messages in chat. I will be able to see them. A big ball of mutilisks moving south here. My Mix. And that base isn't going to last long at all. Does he get the cancel? Just gets the cancel in time. This base is still very, very low in health indeed. And as you can see, the Zerglings off Revolution looking to take that base out. Decide to engage the Zerglings instead. This big ball of Mutalisks moving south here once again. Queen's looking now to try and defend this base a bit more from the, Z the Mutalisks off Revolution. Of mix rather. Big engagement here of the mutalisks. And, and Revolution is getting the better end of this fight as the mutalisks of mix are falling fast. GG! Revolution evens up the series. And we are going to our fourth and final match of this, the fifth and final match of this series played on Cactus Valley. Two games apiece. What a game, folks. What a series. Much, much closer than our first match of tonight. Much closer indeed. Sorry about that, folks. I wanted to mute the mic while I got <laughs> the bottom of my Capri Sun free. Okay, let's see. Move that. Oh, fuck. 2v2. Again, apologies for my language. Dark core. Uh, no. Revolution. Move up there. Damn it. Why isn't that working? Okay. There we go. Go, go. Mix, are you ready? Okay, mix is ready. Let's go. Loading into our final map of this best of five series between Revolution and Mix on Cactus Valley Ladder Edition. The second game on this map we've played tonight, Johnny Rico played against against Mystic Mythic rather on this map earlier on today. It was in fact where he won the game. Though with different spawning positions from this, because spawning to the top right position of Cactus Valley Ladder Edition in the pink, with two games piece in this series, playing for Team Starcraft to improve its mix. And to the top left of Cactus Valley Ladder Edition. Playing for Root Gaming Seed Academy in yellow. Say hello to Revolution. And it is two games apiece in this series. We are going all the way, folks. This is the deciding match, the winner of this goes into the final to play against Johnny Rico and the ch win the chance to get a 5 or a 20 pound prize pool and the title of great
British StarCraft champion. Gas now coming down for Revolution very early. Gas first, in fact, before now puts down his pool. Does scout the correct way first, unlike Mix, so does get that slight advantage. Mix going hatch first in this game, and if Revolution can pull out something aggressive, that could be a bad game to do this indeed. So far, R Revolution not even looking to take his his natural base. And now a pool finally coming down for Mix, much, much later than his opponent, indeed. Who is probably going to get Zergling speed very early indeed to get some aggression played out. And he takes the second ga- oh no, he just did a gas cheat. Thing. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I've not seen that one before actually. I've seen like the 11 supply. 11 out of 10 supply thing. Not to get 19 out of 20. But that that's a lot of Zerglings very early on. Immediately spotted by Mix. What is his reaction going to be? He knows that this is going to be a lot of aggression coming out of Revolution just now. And this is, remember, the deciding match of this best of five series. The deciding match to decide who gets to go into the final. The grand final of the Great British Invitational Cup. Bailing Ness now on the way for Revolution as two spine crawlers down in the main base off Mix. He is, knows this is going to be aggressive. And the Zerglings off Revolution nibbling away at that hatchery there, but going to be pushed away by the superior numbers of Mix at this point. Though more are on the way, and speed is almost done. At 5 minutes 30, speed is almost done. That's a, that's a fast speed, folks. And the Baneling Nest is also done for Revolution. 10 more Zerglings on the way. Revo Mix better be prepared for a lot of aggression here. Moves the spine down to the low ground. Determined to defend this base. Gets a few more nibbles on that here. Maybe would have been better to go straight for the the thingy while it, the spine crawler while it was hatching, perhaps. And still more zerglings moving across the map. And banelings now are here. Where are they go? Oh, big hits there. As they wipe out a lot of the zerglings off mix. And that spine crawler now falls, but Revolution's army supply is now much reduced compared to what it was before, but that hatchery is pretty much guaranteed to fall at this point, with more Zerglings continuing to stream across the map. This is a very good position indeed for Revolution to be in. He does have an army supply lead, if only a small one, and that base is down, running away from those broodlings there. Not even considering getting speed, Revolution is. Though he does put down more spine crawlers as his f all three of his queens are guarding the natural ramp. His last defense against his opposition here. But it looks like he's confident he's looking to take another base. Is he looking to renew his base here? More spine crawlers down. This is getting increasingly difficult now to break for revolution. And Mix is feeling confident. He plops down a new, a new expansion, but that's going to be picked off very quickly by the drone, by the Zerglings off Re Revolution. But he is now down in terms of army supply, but up in terms of economy lead because he now has a hatchery, his natural hatchery halfway complete, and Mixes is now only starting just now, and that's including like the losses that he's received. Zerglings pushing forward here trying to deny that hatch further because really the amount of investment that Revolution's put in, he needs more to guarantee him a strong, strong lead in this game. Backs up a bit now, only six supply of Zerglings left. Or six supply of work off army at least. And it looks like he's backing up. Looks like the aggression is over for now. Mix holding on to his tournament life, but Maybe not his. Maybe not his life for long. 
Not his natural hatchery at any rate. As a roach warren is now coming down for Mix and Revolution, somewhat on the defensive now, putting down some spine crawlers here. Ramp still being guarded by a total of three queens. Two spines down here for Mix. The Zergling's trying to limit a bit of creeps red there. Roach Warren's still on the way for Mix. Oh, natural gas is coming down for Revolution. As he goes up to a total of four gases after that very early gas first build that he started off with. Queen's marching about down there. Guarding this hatchery from the onslaught of Zerglings that for all Mix knows could be coming any second now. But Revolution is back at home macroing up and he does indeed have an absolutely massive lead in terms of worker supply. Look at that, 40, oh, 41 workers compared to only 26 and he now gets his own roach worm done down and he looks to begin a wall off here and it might well be needed because, oh no, not that, oh, okay. Alright, I thought it was going to disconnect me again. It's happened before. Spine crawlers now down. Roach Warren, because Re Revolution know he knows he needs to defend and he needs to defend now. This is all in by Mitz. He knows he has to win the game now with such a massive deficit in terms of worker supply. That's basically all his queens crossing the map. It's a big attack. Can Revolution hold? It's a question we all want to know. That's a lot of Veilings morphing in over there for him. If they get some good hits, they could obliterate this force. But the splits are good. The Veiling hits aren't as good as they need to be. And R Mix is still pushing forward. Army supply lead. Absolutely massive now for Mix ahead of Revolution. And those workers can't fight. Those workers can't fight Roaches. The Roach might be there. The, ro the, the drone count might be there, but that's not going to do any good. And in fact, the drone count has been very, very close to being evened up now. Only 10, but the drone lead off Mix, has, off Revolution even, has been cut in half. But this is now more or less game. Those roaches absolutely murdering those drones there. Not enough by Revolution when that first attack failed. It's not leaving much at all for Revolution. That, that, GG! And that's a series, folks. Mix is in the final. And the final will be Mix versus Johnny Rico.